boarded up windows, shattered glass and trash everywhere, all the result of squatters in the place. And people living in this Brooklyn neighborhood say not even the police can help. CBS 2's Ali Bauman with the story now from Diker Heights. Dirty dishware, idle ATMs. This property on 67th Street in Diker Heights looks like the worst yard sale you've ever seen. Neighbors say it's been like this for months, ever since a group of squatters moved in. You feel unsafe. Neighbors say last summer, one of the alleged squatters destroyed their security camera with a piece of plywood. A few months later, another neighbor caught them taking water from her hose through a hole in the fence. I saw the hose that was connected to my water fountain to, the, to that side there, and I disconnected that. But they kept going down the block. They turn on the water and use the garbage bin to steal from, from us, and then pour it to them. The situation intensified in November when the house caught fire. Police arrested 46-year-old Cheng Chen for arson and criminal trespassing. But it was just the first of three fires at this house as recently as last month. The police came. They cannot do nothing, they said. I spoke to the property owner off camera who told me he moved out of the house a couple years ago to renovate it with the hopes of one day moving back in. He says he's still paying $6,000 a month on the mortgage and these fires have caused more than $900,000 thousand dollars worth of damages. I have an empty apartment upstairs. I don't know if they can come through the back mm. and decide to want to squat around my, my apartment there too. Now that the house is boarded up, the owner says he doesn't know how often the squatters are here or when they'll come back. You have to prove you are there, live there for 30 days. The claim is theirs. How the police going to do? Since squatting is a civil matter and hard to criminally prosecute, there's no recorded data of how big of a problem this actually is. City Council member Susan Schwang is crafting a bill to change that. Try to get to the city agency like NYPD to collect those type of data when people report and then do further analysis. Until then, she and many of the neighbors here are urging the state legislature to re-examine New York's rights for squatters. In Diker Heights, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.